Hello, this is going to be a video about me changing my cam in my XV. Uh, the new one arrived today, bought it from eBay. I've done some checks to make sure it's the same already. And this is the old one. I'll show you the fault with it in a moment. Now I'm going to show you, hopefully you can see, it's got a hairline crack just at the top there where the dowel goes in which means that there's a little bit too much play in that dowel that concerned me and um, so I decided to change it okay I just cleaned up the uh, shaft slightly just to make sure that uh, it was all nice and smooth and I tried the dowel which fits really tightly compared to the other one so pleased with that so I've now got to put the uh, gear on and uh, put it back in so that will go on there and uh, put that on first and it will go back in the top of the engine so here's the head it's got to go back into I'm going to put a drop of lubricating oil on the camshaft before I insert it so it will be free moving. And I'll put the cam chain on and I'll have to set the timing up. I already have the timing set to top dead centre for the front cylinder. I've lined the dowel up with the marker at the top here and so it's all in the correct position for me to put the gear on. So that's next. So the gear is on with the timing chain in the correct position and the gear pointing up to the marker. So now I just need to do the bolt up to 55 newton pounds. Do this, I'm going to be holding on to the crank on the other side with a spanner. Otherwise, the engine will turn over. Now the cam is in, and before I tighten up the bolt, I need to put the cam tensioner in. So here it goes. Just need to slip that in and it will keep the tension on. Checking through and although you can't see in that window it's on top dead center uh, for the rear and there's the rear cylinder lined up with the pointer on top dead center. Now I'm going to turn it around so I get it lined up with the front cylinder on top dead center and then I'm going to check the valve clearances. Just going to loosen off the back and adjust it because it should be 0 0.10 millimeters and it's far too much at the moment. So I've got my Allen key on the top and a spanner on the locking nut. So I'm going to undo the locking nut with the spanner uh, whilst holding this. Okay, it's done up nice and I've got the feeler gauge and you can see that it's just slipping through there. Just feeling I've got a little resistance which is just right make sure I do the locking nut up really nice and tight and that's the intake done now to put the crankshaft cover back on I'm going to put a drop of oil around the uh, rubber o-ring seal so it slips nicely I'll spread that out and 
that can go back in. The oil stops the O-ring from binding. 